Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're taking a quick look at the Firepoint X tactical flashlight. So these have been pretty popular since they are designed uh, kind of for use for military or police operations. And really the thing that makes a tactical flashlight tactical is the fact that it's just a smaller, more compact, but still very bright flashlight. So you can easily use this and it fits in one hand so you don't have to worry about it being one of those really big bulky flashlights like you typically would see. Uh, so it should still give you plenty of light, but be a little lighter and easier to use and hold. The thing that's nice about this particular flashlight is that it does come with rechargeable batteries and the charger to actually charge those up, plus the cord. The one thing it doesn't include is a wall adapter to plug that into, but most folks have plenty of those USB wall adapters nowadays. So let's take a closer look and I'll show you how bright this is. So if we turn it on, it's just got the button on the bottom. It's a pretty bright light. Turn out the lights in my studio. Now you might kind of see that the light looks like it's pulsing. That's just the nature of uh, showing a flashlight on video. <laughs> it's, it's more a trick of those two things talking to each other rather than the light itself. So when you see it in person, it's just a steady constant light. So don't worry about that. But you can adjust it from this kind of flood to a spot. So you just turn the top of the flashlight to make that happen and really lets you dial in that light where you need it to be. Typically you want to use the flood when you're working more up close and you want to see what's going on and the spot would be for looking further in the distance so you can really hone that in. There's also a high and low setting so when you have it turned on and you just kind of barely tap that button it'll go to a low setting, excuse me, a low setting and then seeing that in the spot that just kind of saves your battery a little bit more but if you want to have that brighter light again just kind of do that half tap and it'll change from one to the other so kind of nice that you have the option there again the dimmer option it's just to help save some battery if you don't need it to be super bright at the time so all in all, that's pretty nice. Uh, it's pretty comparable to other tactical flashlights that I've seen on the market. We'll go over all the specs and talk a little bit about what those numbers mean. And I'll give you some measurements as well of the size of this guide to make sure it'll fit in your toolbox or wherever you want to keep this. So it is made out of a anodized aluminum housing. That'll make it really durable. It's also water, water resistant and impact resistant. Not that you want to use this as a hammer or cudgel or anything, but if you happen to drop it on the ground, it's not the end of the world. There's a little O-ring there right before the battery compartment, so that helps to keep that water out from the internal components. It does come with the two rechargeable batteries, so those just pop right into that charger to freshen those up. And kind of a nice thing about this battery type is that it is meant to be used with batter or uh, excuse me flashlights or anything that has a pretty uh, awesome that is discharged and half charge you know you don't have to wait for the battery to fully discharge to make sure that you don't create a memory these batteries don't really do that they are pretty good for use with flashlights and things like that so should last you a long time they can be charged uh, about every 12,000 or 1200 times without any issues so should be a pretty good option. If you ever need a replacement, we do carry just the single batteries on their own if you want to use those. Again, we'll get our micro USB to USB cord, so this would just need a USB port or a AC adapter to plug that into a wall. And again, most folks have a bunch of those laying around the house, so that's no big deal to get one of those. As far as the numbers, the specs, if you really want to know the, new, the lumens, at max, it's rated at 3,000 lumens. So pretty high output. That, again, is on the high um, setting. On the lower setting, it's rated for 750 lumens. So it does drop down quite a bit. The other numbers to pay attention to would be the 1600 candela. That's just going to be the intensity of the light. Uh, that's a pretty good number as far as having a work light or anything like that. And then the beam goes out about 250 meters or uh, about 300 yards. 
the overall size of our flashlight. It's about eight and a quarter inches long. The widest point up at the top is about an inch and three quarters in diameter. The base of it is more like an inch, maybe an inch and an eighth. There's this little ring down here as well, and that is about an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and three eighths in diameter. So pretty compact. It really doesn't weigh too much. It fits pretty comfortably in your hand. That anodized aluminum outer housing feels pretty nice as well. It should do a good job of dissipating any buildup of heat. And it does use Cree LEDs, which are really long lasting and you'd never should need to replace those. That's pretty much it for our look at the Firepoint X flashlight. I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is the right choice for you. We do have a lot of other accessories here at eTrailer.com, so check them out. Thanks for watching.